This is where a pull through would come in handy. You could just go ahead and pull right through there, get all that crap out. But I don't have my pull through with me. I, I kind of lost it. No clue where it is. But you're just gonna want to, uh, if you just have anything, just fluff or anything, go ahead and just clean this out real nice because the lube's gonna be on the inside. And if the lube is on the tip of the bolt, you'll be splattering lube all over your uh, paint, and it won't be flying straight at all. So just go ahead, give this a good once over. Alright. Step over there. Zoom in for you. Alright, here I have uh, the bolt guide, the pop it. Don't really, I'm not sure what this is, but I know it's important for it. The actual bolt, you got the spring. And then, just get a little loop. I have enough lube from last year's PSP Chicago to last me a lifetime. But uh, just get this lube, nice little bit, start with this, make sure you get some on all the O-rings, smear it around. Don't want to have globs of it, so like you can tell my lube is white, you don't want to be able to see the white on the uh, the bolt at all. You just want a nice thin film and I found that that's, def that's plenty enough and it's not going to be uh, over lubed. There. Got a nice nice uh, layer right there. And then this is the most important part. You want to be careful when you're lubing. You do not want to get any lube on this front bag, or on this uh, front black part of the bolt, because that's the part that touches the ball. You get any lube on this, and you will have problems with accuracy, because the lube will be on the tip of that, and that will be hitting the ball, and it's just not going to fly straight. So you're going to want to lube up the, the shaft of the bolt, not to make sure you don't get the tip. Then get a little bit on the O rings here. So that's all good. I just like to get a little bit between my index finger and my thumb. Just go around on the string. I don't know if it helps or anything, I just see what I found out uh, works best for me. Get some on the string. Then Work the, uh, the bolt around the bolt guide just to get some on the inside of the bolt. Set the string on. Wipe my hands off so I don't. Wipe your hands off so you don't get any crap on the uh, the gun when you're uh, inserting the bolt again. Do that. It just slides right in. Make sure the little uh, that little hole top of the bolt guide lines in with that little pin. I don't know you I don't know if you can see it. That little hole lines up with this pin. It's the only way it's gonna fit in. Slide that in. It's not gonna stay in all the way, so I'll hold that in when you thread in the the, uh, the back screw. Once you get this snug let go and uh, we'll stay in. There we go. And don't over tighten because you'll strip your screws. But uh, that's pretty much it. That's is, uh, unless you have major problems, that's all you have to do after uh, every day of playing. And uh, It'll be great. It'll just work like a thousand bucks. So, put this back together. And once it's back together, you're ready to go out and play again. Because you'll be ready to shoot straight, shoot fast, no problems. But, uh, so yeah, that's what I do. Keep my mini in top condition. I hope it helps.